of the great things about my job is that I can actually do things about things that I read in the newspaper. Public policy, the structure of public discourse, those are the questions I get to think about all the time. the privatization of the public square. So a lot of the spaces where uh, we used to uh, engage in public discourse are now owned by private corporations. And that's something very new. And each time technology changes in this dramatic way, we have to figure out what are the rules that should apply to the deployment of that technology? You know, how do we make sure that that technology serves rather than undermines um, democracy and self-government? That's why we have free speech. Nobody has yet figured out, you know, how to think about social media. Is social media like a telephone company or is it more like a newspaper? So around TV, there's a set of rules. Around radio, there's a set of rules. But around social media, there's not yet a set of rules. So if we think of it as something more like a common carrier, then we might think that the right set of rules is an anti-discrimination set of rules. Just make sure that Facebook doesn't interfere. But if you think of Facebook as more like a newspaper, then the set of rules might be more like the ones we apply to newspapers, which is, you know, you have an ethical responsibility to uh, make sure the stuff that goes in your pages is stuff that you can stand behind. You don't want to give governments more authority to decide which political views get traction and which ones don't, or to suppress political views that they disfavor. But at the same time, you want to leave space for regulation that serves free speech values. There's no way you can have a functioning democracy without news organizations that care about accuracy and uh, investigative journalism and you know accountability of powerful people. But the social media companies, because they become kind of intermediaries between conventional news organizations and the news organization's readers, have begun to collect all of the uh, resources that used to be available to the news organizations. And the result is that local news is dying or, you know, close to dead virtually everywhere and certainly here in the United States. I don't think that we're going to be able to change that dynamic just by lecturing the companies about how important it is to care about democracy. You know, their obligations to their shareholders and to do what they need to do for their shareholders, they feel like they need to have policies that amplify certain kinds of content. I like that Canada feels different. The, the pace even in Toronto is a little bit slower. I think people are a little less direct in how they engage with one another, a little bit more careful about how they engage with one another. I think that we should trade out Fifth Avenue for a canal that freezes over. I think it'd be great if I could skate to work every day.